All right, guys. Shannon Sam from Shannon Limited. My big truck just left. And back to the same drawing board. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, salt my uh, bait, my minnow. You receive a lot of bait today. I got 600 pounds. Was it 600 pounds of minnow? And 50 pound bag of salt. And 1,000 pounds of shining. Woo! That's a lot of shining, guys. A lot of shining. Now, after salt, you know what's come up next, right? You know what's next, right? Gatorade. After salt, Gatorade. And you know what's next? Gatorade. Many of you have probably seen my first video already. I did the same thing, nothing different. But, okay, this is antibiotic, guys. After you put salt on them, you give them uh, antibiotic. Salt is helping them uh, recover faster. Same thing with, with uh, antibiotic, recover faster and help them cure their um, gill, clean up the gill, breathe better, whatever. Okay, let's give some to uh, Minnow. Give some to the Minnow. Hey, the bed looks just as good as me. Hey. I'm just kidding, guys. Our shiners came in a little bit big, okay? I know it's been, uh, been my uh, bait trucks left. Our shiners came in a little bit big. Now I gotta do some grading today, okay? I'm gonna grade out those big shiners. Take a look at these shiners. This week, they are a little bit bigger, okay? Those you have to separate them out, which I call grading. It has a big grade. But today I'm going to do some grading. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Stick around. My blocker is giving up on me. I'm fixing it up right now. So I can use them to block my fish. Different size fish for grading them. I'm going to grade the fish for you guys to see. Yay! This is a grader box. The box for the grater. Okay, this is the, um, the grater itself. Sizing your uh, shiner, okay? So that's a grater frame? Yeah. Okay, let me put this in there. The reason why I'm grading out this fish is because they are coming in different size. A lot of people don't like the big size, a lot of people don't like the small size. Some they all like it big, some they all like it small. But I'm here to make them happy. <laughs> okay, this is what I do. I got the grater over here. I got different grater sizes, okay? But in particular size, I'm gonna use number 30 grater. What I do here, I'm gonna grate the fish out. I put them into this box right here. Okay, what's left in this box is are, are the bigger sizes, okay? Now there's a bigger size that's gonna stay in the grater. Even though you're doing this, it's not 100% proof that uh, you're gonna get all big ones. And there's a lot of time the small ones still stay in there, but I still gotta do some hand picking, okay? That way, Whatever go through, you go to the customer who wants the little one. The one stay within that box is gonna be for the customer who wants the bigger one. And at the same time, I'm not cheating myself or cheating out, um, not cheating myself or cheating my customer. They get what they pay for, 
The bigger one is a little bit more money, and the little one pay less for it. Okay, here is what is left in that box. Okay, it stays here. All the big ones stay here. All right. If I give them something like this, oh, that's too little. <laughs> It's too little, okay? Too little to go there. Alright. See, even though I grid it out, there's some still a lot of small one in here. So I'll go ahead and sort them out. Sometimes you gotta do it by hand. So the grader doesn't work hundred percent. Not a hundred percent. Nothing hundred percent, okay? I hate to say a hundred percent. Oh uh, that remind me something about hundred percent. I thought I was 100% right on my last video. Ooh. Now, if you guys, let me dump this fish out real quick. <laughs> Talk about 100%. I thought I was 100% correct on my uh, video. Last video. The last video that I make, if you guys watch it, I made a mistake. I had made a mistake. It's only one person that caught it. And she comments. If you guys go back and watch that video and tell me what I made, where is my mistake, and what I did wrong, comment, okay? I'll let you guys watch it. I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you. Hey, my wow shiners are here too. Everything's here today. Everything's here today. You guys get to see the wow shiners a load also. Yeah, I made a mistake on my last video, the very last one. Only one person caught it. I'm not gonna go change it. I, I won't change it. I'm gonna leave it alone. You guys go back and watch it again and tell me where, where did I mean my mistake? Okay. Tell me. All uh, right. Now, uh, now that's how I create my fish. Okay, guys. I gotta go take care of my wow shiner. Creating the fish. Creating the fish to, to the grater. Oh, okay. Now, I hate to do that to the fish. They already done it at the farm. They grid it also. Here again, I'm gridding it again. You know what happened when you push the fish through the, uh, through the grader? They lost its scale. Sometimes they got hurt and their life, um, and they don't leave as good, right? They don't leave as good. Sometimes I have to do manually. Okay, how do I do it? Easy. This way, the bait don't get pushed around the metal, but it takes time. But I rather do this. You see the size of them? They're not. They're not pushing through the um, metal. Sometimes, honey, I got wet. Okay, this is how I do with the big fish. Okay. I think I know my size already. I can do it. See? Okay. Time to go get my wow shiners. See that? That's how you grant your fish. Different size, different price. That way you can uh, satisfy your customer what they want. I hate to give them a small fish and call them a large, okay? You know, the fishermen, when they get pissed off, they get pissed off. I'll be up front with them. If I have a small shiner, I tell them I have a small shiner. If I have large shiners, I tell them I have a large shiner. There's, there's no need to misinform them that you have a small shiner and tell them you have large and they get pissed off. Some of them can be nasty.
see all of my tanks are full with wild shiners now. Beautiful wild shiners. Now wild shiners, I don't have to grade them. They are different sizes, some um, medium, medium, large, up to large, okay? That's what we have. It is what it is, guys. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and treat them. Put a salt and get a Salt and get a The wild shiners, I use a little bit of water. If I were to fill up the water all the way up to the top, the shine is going to jump out. Okay, now that I only have a little bit of water, I'm going to use um, probably approximately 20 pounds of salt. Okay. Uh, I can slow it down the water a little bit. You keep the water, if you keep the water running hard, or it is, it's just going to waste all salt and uh, chemical. Just let it drip. Just let it drip like that overnight, okay? okay? You don't have to run it hard. Now that's how you cure. That's how you cure your wild shiners. If you're ever thinking about going out, get your own shiners, okay? I'm thinking about making a video, going out there, and I'll show you guys how we catch the shiners. But that's later on. Right now it's too busy, okay? I got a group, a lot of customers down here right now to fish. Have no time to play. I'm only gonna stay here. 24 hours a day. Babysit my my bait, right? Some of our uh, customers or our uh, YouTube viewers was asking me, do these shiners last in uh, salt water? You 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 gonna use it for uh, ocean fish fishing? Well. You can, all I know is you can use it on the brackish water. Salt water, salt, salt water, which is uh, out down south, I don't know. I don't, I don't know anybody that use it, but uh, some of our customers do use it for uh, topping fishing, right? Topping and uh, snook fishing. Yeah. yeah, they use this large shiner for snook fishing. And I know the, 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 the bow shiner can stay in the brackish water. I think you already know the drills. After the salt, you know what's coming now. Gatorade. <laughs> you know pretty well, honey. Who taught you all of that? It's actually um, antibiotic. Okay. It is antibiotic. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I want to do it. I want a good quality bait for our customers. Well, we want to prevent them from parasites. Yes, yes, yes. Good bait. Customer happy. and make me happy. Yeah, the antibiotic helps prevent um, parasites. And for, the, for those Fungus, shiners right? that are hurt, it will cure them. All right, now, all the bait is ganging up on me today. I got minnows coming in, 600 pounds of minnows, 1,000 pounds of shiners, and 200 dozen of vowel shiners. They're all here. Okay, i show you guys how I create my domestic shiners. Vowel shiners, I don't have to create them, okay? And they look pretty good. Look pretty decent. This time of year, it's a little bit tough. Hopefully one day, I'm gonna be out there in the water, show you guys how we catch the wild shiners, okay? As far as, uh, as, far as wild shiners right now situation, it's only gonna to get tougher, guys. This is the season where everybody's come down here all in one time and trying to catch the trophy bag. The shine is just gonna spawn the same way the bass and the crop is spawning. And then they're gonna be hiding one of the wheat where you can't catch them. They don't come out and feed. And everybody's down here at the same time to fish, okay? It's gonna be tough. But so far, so good for us. I got a couple hundred dozen in here. Maybe it lasts a couple days, two, three days. And my catchers are still going out there bringing me shiners. Looks pretty good, huh? Okay, this is it guys for this video. 
done. I show you guys how to carry a, a domestic shiner, grading it out, and take care of our shiners. Okay. This is gonna be a short video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you like my shining. And thank you for watching. Bye guys. I'll see you. <laughs> Just when I thought my day is over. We had our brother over there. <laughs> yeah. Over went and caught the uh, yeah. the bass again. Yeah. With cane pole, right? <laughs> with cane pole. What is it with the cane pole, guys? Auntie. Cane pole and minnows. Did you catch it? Cane pole and minnows. Okay. Yeah, it's raining. It's raining. Okay. No, he's about four. Yeah, four, four and a half. He's about four pounder. They caught him off from the uh, day. My brothers went out there. He, they've been going out there almost every day trying to catch uh, crappie. They end up with uh, big bass like this, <laughs> off from the minnows. Now a lot of guys say they can't find the bass anywhere. They're probably using too big of a uh, shiners. Try minnows, guys. Right. <laughs> it's cheaper. <laughs> Another collection. Drop on. Okay. Now, I know for sure when they are in here, they're going to eat good. And they're going to be taken care of. These beds are here for good, right, Benny? Right. New pet to the collection. A new pet, new collection to our uh, bass pond. This is all for our uh, friends, families, maybe our guests to see. Maybe my YouTube uh, fan to come out and see the bass, feed them. Okay, guys. What I did here is for you guys. Okay. And plus, I love doing this. Exactly. And here's my buddy today. He's helping me out with my uh, fish tank, tank with the lights right now. Right. We're putting up the lights right now. Hopefully we'll get the tank done quick, soon. And we'll show that on a video also. Okay guys? Right Benny? Right. Let's go back to All work. Right. Good work. <laughs>